So the stretch factor test is oh, 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 wrap it around the part of your body. Oh, 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 it's going to be smaller than yeah, the stretching oh, pattern. Oh, oh. So the stretch factor test, I've already done it. And it's just the size that I want. I've already cut it to the size I need. So for a tube top, remember a tube top has to be stretchy enough and large enough to fit over your shoulders and still hug your top. Fold it half along the chest. It does not stretch this way. This is the way you fold it in half. And we're going to be sewing this, as with all other pieces, inside out, and then we turn it out uh, inside out so that the mesh is seen on the inside. So the first side that you have to sew is this long side. Remember when you're working with stretchy fabric, you have to stretch it before you sew so that the thread will be long enough. And it won't break as it stretches and unstretches. Okay, now the next step. The next step is to see where that seam is that's on the outside. Fold it inward in half. So stick your arm in and fold it in half, fold the loop in half, so to speak, so. And line up the seam. Don't worry, I know it looks kind of funny right now, but this is the way to do it. Okay, this, look, this looks sort of like the sleeve in the t-shirt video. And you would sew that around there the same way. So, once you get that lined up, Start somewhere other than the seam. Maybe start here. Sew all the way around except leave a space uh -huh. without sewing, like maybe up to here, because you'll need a hole to pull it through to turn it inside out. So as I mentioned, start it somewhere other than the seam, past the seam, maybe there. Okay, and in this case, since it's not stretchy, make sure you've got both sides. You don't have to stretch it because it's not stretchy this way. It's stiff this way. So just sew all the way around except for one part. I'm going to move it up more because I want to get the seam into the sewn up place. Okay. So here you have this. It looks funny because it's a tube this way right now, but when you turn it inside out, it will be a tube the way you want it to be. So here are the two seams I'm just demonstrating to you. Here we can see. Here's the one seam and here's the other seam. Now find that little piece that you left unsewn because that's where you're going to pull your tube top through. Where did I put it? Here it is. So now just turn it inside out. Pull that piece. There you go. And now here's your tube top. See? Now that part that was left unsewn, you'll sew that by hand with a matching colored thread and make it as invisible as possible. We're going to pretend you've already sewn this by hand. If you want to learn how to sew by hand, you go to the channel Boohoo Design. She has a few hand sewing tutorials on there. Every month. So you just wear the tube top like this. I always think tube tops look nice with a nice white blouse. Just left it open, but over the shoulders. That's nice. So you can use the tube top just like this. Or you could make a matching color sort of a band and we would do this. I got myself two pieces because I didn't have a piece that was long enough. So I took two pieces here and I just sewed them together. The non-stretchy way. See, the stretchy way is this way. That's one thing you have to pay attention to. When you're using stretchy fabric, decide which way you want the stretch to go. Because one way, there are fabrics that are stretchy both ways. But in this case, I'm using a fabric that's only stretchy one way. <laughs> uh, so I made a, 
I cut out a rectangle, really long rectangle. Now, okay. fold that in half, right sides okay. together, all along this, all the way to the other side, leaving the two ends open, because that's what you're going to use to turn it inside out. We have some nice background music now. My stepsons are listening to music on the computer. Now, at this point, there's two ways to turn this inside out. If you left both ends open, actually, you could have gone ahead and sewn up the one end. But I'll show you anyway. You might prefer to do it this way. This is the way we sort of did the peasant blouse. You can put a safety pin here and just sort of feed it in through itself. Uh, feed it in to the opening and sort of work it inside out, you know, by, as I showed you with the peasant blouse, bunching up a little and pulling, bunching up a little and pulling. But there's actually an easier way. So what you could do is, but you may not have the equipment you need to. You could sew up one of the ends, which I'll do now, and I'll be right back and show you what else you can do to turn this inside out to get your strap. Get yourself a dowel. It should not be so wide that it won't fit through. And this is one I use for dyeing. That's why it's, it's darker here. I use it to stir the dye pot. But it's also it's useful for turning my straps inside out. Here you see I've sewn one end shut. I like to trim it a little, make it nice and neat, but make sure you don't cut the thread. And now, oh, I'd like to trim it a little here too. Now, kind of work that end in a little bit. You could use maybe the safety pin also, or a pencil, or something thinner than the dowel. But once you work a little piece in, sir, inside, then just take the dowel and stick it there. And then it's harder in the beginning. Once you get a good amount onto the dowel, it gets easier. So you see, you start working it onto the dowel. There we go. And then start sliding it on. There we go. Grabbing the seam. There we go. And this is actually much easier than the safety pin. Once you can see how it's gathering up here. And this end is there. And then you just pull it. The dowel is still inside of here. So now you got to get the dowel out, which I thought of. That's not so hard. There you go. And now you have your strap nice and neat. Here's the neat seam. The messy part is on the inside. And it's nice and long. Then you can go ahead and just zigzag stitch the other end with matching thread and it'll barely be noticeable. So once you have your nice strap, and there's no rules again, remember, I need a matching fabric. You can make it a different color fabric. You can decide where it is, the tube top. If you need extra support, you might decide to sew a piece of elastic on the inside before turning it inside out. You know, no rules. I, I like to stress that in every video because you're the designer. These are just basic designs for you to then expand upon. And then I would love for you guys to send me videos that you made this design. So then, okay, the next step, just tie this here, and it may have made it a little longer. And you could leave it like that. You could just leave it like this for some reason. Or maybe you want to be a little safer, tie it up here. And then use it sort of like a bathing suit. This is, if you're extremely large busted, this might not be the best design for you. And uh, my next video is going to be a bra for bigger busted women that maybe want a little more support. But, you know, if you just want to go out and sunbathe and just need coverage, it doesn't matter what size you are. You can probably get away with this. Don't dive into the swimming pool with this on, though. It probably won't be a good result. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.